We saw a very interesting dynamic uh, in the course of uh, the second quarter. Obviously, the strong growth driver for us has indeed been e-commerce. Um, we still see much stronger growth uh, in our e-commerce businesses uh, than what we had uh, prior to the pandemic. Looking at our express network, looking at our parcel network here in Germany, at our e-commerce solutions uh, uh, division. Uh, it is too early to tell whether this is going to be uh, a sustainable acceleration uh, of the e-commerce trend. There are, of course, course some good arguments for that. People have newly discovered shopping on the internet, particularly parts of the population who didn't shop online before. Um, uh, also on the supply side, sm smaller shops have now discovered um, how useful a complementary online offering can be. So I think there are some good arguments uh, for a more structural acceleration of the e-commerce trend. But in terms of hard facts, it's simply too early uh, to really uh, say that for sure. All right. Um, what kind of clarity then do you have around the freight forwarding division because obviously we've, we've watched the airline industry with close interest uh, and we've seen some uh, shift from belly uh, haulage through to in plane haulage. In terms of volumes though and overall ease of operation, could you just add some colour for us? How are things in freight forwarding? <laughs> Yeah, another really uh, good uh, question. And I think forwarding is even more difficult uh, to predict uh, than what we are seeing on the e-commerce side. In e-commerce, it's clearly a structural growth trend. The question is, how strong is that growth uh, trend going to be? What we have seen in uh, air freight uh, in the second quarter has been a hugely distorted market. Uh, volumes from the demand side were clearly still down uh, in the double digits. Um, that is what you're also seeing in our volume developments. But the name of the game was the capacity shortage uh, induced by the grounding of the passenger aircraft, which overnight took roughly 50% of the available capacity out of the market. Uh, we have been able with our global forwarding division to secure capacity early on for our customers um, and that has been the basis for our successful second quarter um, uh, on the air freight side. The big question for the second half of the year is now how quickly will demand come back and what is happening on the supply side? I think the anticipation is uh, that it will take some time for regular flying to resume, uh, particularly intercontinental. So there will be a continued shortage on the capacity side. I think that's for clear. Um, the important question is how quickly will fundamental demand come back uh, over the next month? Mm, OK, well, obviously, there's a lot of opacity here. Let, let me ask you, I mean, both those divisions, though, actually showed an uplift in revenue where there's been some decline. Um, that's notable. I think it's been in the supply chain story. Can you tell us a little bit about DHL supply chain and why you've seen a revenue decline? Yeah, that's uh, absolutely correct. When you look at our five operating divisions, four of our five divisions are network businesses. And we saw both revenue growth and EBIT growth in those network businesses. The one division where we saw a decline in both revenue and EBIT but we kept a profitable, positive number for the second quarter was our supply chain division. What makes the nature of the supply chain business different from the network businesses is that we have dedicated sites for customers. And of course, if you have, for example, an automotive customer and the factory is closed, that also has an immediate impact on our uh, supply chain warehouses. We tried to redeploy our people to other parts of the operation where there was activity, but that didn't always work. And of course, if the customer um, is shutting down um, uh, its operations, that also has an impact uh, on our revenue. And that is why our supply chain division was the most affected in the second quarter, both with regard to revenue and EBIT.